Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Jade Dragon. This is a brand new DLC that revitalizes all the Asian areas and actually adds China, as well as makes a huge number of really nice changes, which I'm going to talk about very soon, because oh my god. So first of all, we're going to start in the 769 start, because I have one ruler in particular that I would like to play. So let's get down to the earliest start possible. Now, a lot has changed. But still, the Abbasid dynasty is in control in 769, ripe to be messed around with. So I think it's time we messed around with it, don't you? And how we're going to do that is I'm going to play some of my favorite characters. Because we need to start being able to push east to go to China. And I don't really want to play in India because I'm not a huge fan of the Indian subcontinent in CK2. So instead, we're going to be playing, are you ready, as a Zoroastrian. So one of my favorite people to play, if I can find him, there he is, is Emir, Emir Sorkab of the Bavanid, Bavandid dynasty. He is basically one of the last powerful Zoroastrians. He may actually be the last powerful Zoroastrian. And he also is in control of a really large number of trade nodes, uh, so Silk Road trade things. So we're going to get a chance to kind of demonstrate some of that in this DLC as well. And also try and play as a secret Zoroastrian. So, <clears throat> so let's do this. Oh boy, I'm excited. Uh, if you like the series, make sure you do leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think, because I love to hear your feedback. So, major dynamic, 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 da -da -da default. Da -da. There's a couple new changes. So, J, J Dragon, Chinese invasions. They will launch tributary wars and major invasions. Chinese interactions, only within range, can use grace actions. I will keep it within range. Border dispute wars. Through spending piety and gold, start a border dispute war with a single county, which is really cool. A new case of spelly introduced on... Devil Worshippers, I will... I'm thinking actually to turn them off because Devil Worshippers are just so stupid. They're just so dumb. I'm going to turn them off. Uh, Secret Religious Cults absolutely can be founded, please. Because they're going to be very useful to our, uh, our gameplay. And you will see why very shortly. So, Nomadic Stability, Amonization of Kagan, they have a chance to declare independence. Yes, this helps destabilize regions around us, which is very good. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, basically everything is normal, 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 normal. Provincial strokes of demonic range, invitation to court. Yep, yep, defensive, uh, defensive attrition. Yeah, fine. I hate it, but it, oh well, it is kind of useful. Uh, dueling or default. Is there a way to change down the? They're pretty sure there's a way to turn down. Oh, is this new? Multiplayer assassinations. That's awesome. No player relatives. That's very cool. I don't remember that, but we're not playing that anyway, so it doesn't matter. And also, focus alerts. We can now change uh, childhood focus alerts. So players are alerted about... Con it says Conclave, but this is, a, this is a recent thing. They're alerted about childhood education focuses. So I will have close relatives, please. Thank you. So we're going to have a stay on the Iron Man, and we're going to play as the Bavin Dids. Let's do it. There is a genuine risk that we could uh, completely die, by the way, just to let you know. But that's okay. Zorostrian. Zorostrian. Yeah, sure. I've already played this a little bit and played a couple decades of it, and it's a lot of fun. And I've played a couple of games in the previous iterations of the game as well. So, let's take a look how we do this. So first of all, we're a Zoroastrian. We worship uh, Ahura Mazda, the uncreated god, uh, the proclaimed by ancient Iranian prophet, blah blah blah, the official legend of all Persian empires until the Muslim conquest of the Sassanids in 651. Alright. Just great sacred hilltop fires, dead bodies to scavenger birds for cleansing, and religious close cut marriages. Oh baby, here we go. So we can grant, they can grant divorces. We can also marry close kin to improve vassal opinions. Basically, you bang your wife. Zostrian men can take up to three concubines, and a religious head can be created through a special decision. However, we start in a very precarious position, because in the Abbasid is a massive empire ruled by this guy right here, Khalif al-Mansur, who is not a fan of me, because he is zealous. Oh, Christ. Uh, is that game ending? Well, we'll see. I feel like, he sh feel like he doesn't start with Zealous, but we'll have to see. Because Zealous people hate your religion. We're going to have to hope that he dies. God, let's hope he does. So I've started as Humble, Erudite, okay, Deceitful, and Gregarious with Midas Touched, which is alright. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to get to 100 Piety, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Our heir is 34, but look what we can do. We can actually say you are not allowed to marry someone, so we can actually restrict his marriage, and for the next 10 years, he's not allowed to marry anybody, which is a new feature. So, uh, your full control over if you carry, to the exception of those you send. Use this to ensure that our gymnastic children, grandchildren get a marriage you approve of. Alright, so we're going to restrict his marriage. 
You could marry a princess of Bulgaria or Farah. I wish I knew where that was. God, I don't want that. And we also have, of course, my other heir, my heir's heir, over here. Now, his education is just terrible. So, although very good diplomatically, I'm going to see if I can educate him myself, actually. Can I please educate my own grandson? Yes, good. Okay. So, there's a couple things we can do as a person who is of the wrong religion for his own nation. You can actually make a... You can falsely confess your faith. And basically pretend that you are Muslim. However, I have to have 100 piety for that, which I do not have. This will also allow me to form a secret faction, or rather secret uh, society, that allows me to practice my religion in peace. I can also become a Sashionte if I own a crap ton of places, which would be amazing. I can restore the high priesthood if I have loads of piety to found the church officially. And a couple other things that will come later on. And also, we can now search for a smith to get items, which is really cool. We can also host the Jeanne Sedea Festival, which I need prestige, and it has to be at least in September, and I get some cool stuff. Right. So we have to immediately get to 100 faith. So literally anything that gets me to 100 faith is... I just... I need it, okay? I need it. We also want to focus on destabilizing the surrounding areas. There's only the Heremetics and the Assassins so far. We don't want to join any of those. The main thing is we want to try and get to 100 faith. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, oh God, to theology. And by going theology focus, it gives us a lot of chances to get events, which gives us high piety. And that's kind of the main focus here. We want to get high piety. And we want to get this before we die as well. Because our kid is also pretty crap. He is honest, but he's also greeny. He's not really going to be getting very many good events uh, with regards to priesthood. But that's okay. Can you marry anyone good? Of course you can't. So our ambition is going to be war chest. No, we're going to try and become king of Dailim. Now that's cool because it allows the unlimited use of the subjugation case belly within that kingdom, which is super nice. When is the character kingdom of Dailim? So that's really nice. It means I can conquer basically anyone I want, which would be really cool. But I'm almost certainly never going to reach that, but I will take it anyway. So it will grant me uh, fabricate missions to acquire claim on Dalim, but of course we can't grant that. Unlimited use of subjugation cases, Billy. That's fine. Uh, we have not got a bride, which is unfortunate. We should focus on trying to get someone within our own realm. That's kind of the idea. And also, Dushi of Gidan and Tiberistan. Let's actually take a look at what we actually have. So this is my entire area. Okay, so they have actually changed this. They've rebalanced a lot of the provinces. I did not used to own this area over here, but that's fine. So... We want to be moving and getting stronger. Ooh, the Tang Empire. Ah, oh, the Chinese Empire. Yes. Here it is. Okay, so Tang Emperor. Uh, Lin, Zhang, Lin Zhang Han Taoist. I can pay tribute. And it will increase our grace. And we can ask for a boon to cost grace. That's amazing. The Protector General. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Xiao of the Western Protectorate and the House Li. Policy is open, the Silk Road is open, thankfully, and the status is in unrest because there's civil unrest. The value is reduced, unfortunately. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep up to date with this as it goes on. But for now, let's focus on the other things. So where is my Silk Road? God damn it, it was here a minute ago. Where Oh, I clicked next on. That's fine. Whatever. I've actually forgotten how to get this back up. Where where are you? Because I need to find the mode that allows me to get this. Let's just try and find it. And I've got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it's trade zone. So this is the Silk Road. As you can see, we own crazy amounts of the Silk Road. This is so amazing. Oh, that's really valuable. Holy shit. It's all about the owners of the Silk Road. Look at that. So the Silk Road brings trade through this country, which gives the 6% extra tax and extra tech speed as well. And trade route income plus 10. Holy shit. If some Silk Road trade provinces are blocked, they gain a temporarily higher bonus as redirected. What's this? A potential trade post. We can actually build a trade post here. Instead of being building them everywhere, we can put them in one place. And you basically get massive, massive economic benefits. God, we're really rich. So where where was that? So where can I build that? I forgot. Right there in Quesum, which is one of my vassals. So, da -da -da -da, one of the following must be true... I have to own it. Okay, so I don't actually own it. That's okay. That's alright. We can also build this one here. Oh, I can build it. Yeah. 
So it would actually give me a huge benefit. Any local ruler is allowed to build trade posts. If it passes through, it takes 348 days. It's actually doable right now. We don't want to do it just yet. So we need to try and get piety. That's the very first thing we need to do. And then we also want to try and expand our realm. Whoops. We want to try and expand our realm at least a little bit. So people like over here, we could go Ducal Conquest. So we they hold land and duchy you are pretender to. By spending piety and gold, you can go to war over any county that is part of a duchy you hold land in, as long as duchy has no holder. This deals with is only available to characters of count or duke tier. So this is our awesome thing. We can also, if we don't have any cases of values, get border dispute, which allows us to dispute any county that borders you. Whoever choosing to wage a conquest not backed by a claim carries hefty penalties. So lose piety and lose gold. Obviously, we're not going to do that. However, we can do this immediately. However, because it's against someone of our own religion, we lose 250 piety. Uh, yeah, because he's actually also a Zoroastrian. Why can't I have you as mine? That's okay. We don't really want to be fighting people who are, are who are Zoroastrians themselves. That's the thing. So over here, we actually do have Muslims. So right here, this guy's a Muslim. So if we declare war on him, unfortunately, it's only a border just because we don't have the they don't have the territory. That's fine. However, over here, this guy's a Muslim. And borders, we also have de jure claims. Because Sheikhdom of Marga is actually de jure my vassal. So I can actually fight him for a variety of very useful provinces, including Tiberese. Or we could fight instead the uh, Orkia Sultanate, which would be hell because we would die. We also don't have a case of spelling, so that's alright. And then over here, we also have. Oops, I need to go to his ruler. Where's your ruler? There we go. I wish we don't have a case of failing him either. Damn. Hmm, that's weird. In the previous iterations of the game, I did have cases of failures. That's okay. So basically, we just want to try and expand as quickly as possible, but also only do things that give us piety. So the first thing we could do is attack Kuer, but we would lose immediately, immediately lose piety. That's very unfortunate. But instead, we're going to go into Kuwain. No, not Kuwain. We're going to go to this guy, to Tebreze. And we're going to be able to get some ducal claims on Margrer and Tebrez. Both of these are very valuable provinces, with Tebrez being stupid valu valuable. Like, crazy valuable. And let's go back to the trade zones area. And this is even more important, because it's a potential trade post. So we want to do that almost, almost now, actually. And he's got no packs. And military-wise, okay, military we have basically nothing. What is that? Why do I have so few troops? Never mind. Holy shit. I think it's the right religion. Well, we're going to have to wait. We are going to have to wait because we can't do anything. We're going to give our designated character to our region. There we go. Do any of these ones... Anything that gives, like, bonuses to my heir is really what I want to focus on. Opinion, battalion, prestige. The court tutor is good. That's a new thing. It means that they're the base teacher. And so they will always teach the kids by default. So we don't have anything we can do straight away, but that's all right. We can just wait a little bit and hope that everything goes okay. Oh, God. We just need that piety. That's the thing. So you accept the guardianship contract. Cool. The problem is, is that the very first thing that may happen is that our emperor or liege may try to kill us because he is zealous. If that happens, the game may end, but that's all right. We can certainly give it a go. Uh, if anyone wants to maybe... So we also want to pay attention to factions here. So independence is actually a pretty strong faction. I don't really want to fight anything that's independence. Increased council power. Well, I'm not going to be on my Legis council, am I? No. I mean, what, one thing we want to try and do is try to improve relations. So let's go to our actual position council. So straight away, that's actually really good. Let's improve diplomatic relations with uh, this bad boy right there. We are organizing the army. <sighs> Fine. You're just, you're just terrible, aren't you? You're just terrible. Tell you what, let's get a new marshal over here. Uh, our new, our steward is average, I guess. I oversee the realm. Demands improve. Now let's get, let's get some collect taxes going on. Our spy master is insanely good, so I'm very happy about that. And this guy's also really good too. Uh, um, don't really want to improve religious relations. Well, I, our home movement's well, not great. Let's have Zakaria be our guy instead. So improve religious relations could be kind of good, but to be honest, I would rather just hunt apostates. So I cannot do anything 
Like, oh, I can also compose a book, which is quite cool. So I can't do anything until I hit 100 faith. Like, literally nothing. So we have to hope that our just our theology focus happens sooner rather than later. There are a number of women we could marry as well, but literally no one's a Rostrian. I probably should have done this a little bit earlier. Damn. So we're going to just click, click around and see if there's anyone around here who is even slightly worth ally, uh, marrying into. Jesus. Literally no one. Should have done this to start. That's okay. Uh, these are all terrible. Just terrible. This person's a Buddhist. Christ. Oh, monthly wealth. Uh, fine. Let's just get a marriage. We may as well try and marry someone so we can have a bit higher things. So 29 gold or 100 prestige. Uh, I'm going to take the, the prestige. And we're going to have to hope that everything goes okay. So already we're at war. So that's good. They're defending against the Preti Kingdom for Securvia. Uh, I don't know where that is, but... Okay, that's fine. So we're actually fighting in a far off distant war. Which is fine. So we only have 900 men. So we could still kill these guys. I think we can probably make it work. So let's kill Tebrete. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And they have more men than us. That's not good. Let's go, lads. We can try and kill small stacks. You can also hire some mercs, a uh, very small amount of mercs, but mercs nonetheless. No, we can't. We don't have any cash. Possibly should have waited a little bit, but that's okay. No, we have more men than them. It's just going to be really hard to beat everybody. Wow, we're at war of a lot of people. What was this war? The Badi Ward. Oh, it's me. No, that's not me. <laughs> Sorry, Bajan and Emirate sounds really similar. So who are we at war with right now? Doesn't seem like anybody. You'd think that would come up for us. Okay. Kind of seems like it's not really showing that we're at war with anybody. Which is pretty stupid. Oh, because that's actually the opinions mode, isn't it? Well, whatever. Let's just do it. Ah. <sighs> Damn. The unfortunate thing is that they've now grabbed this mountain area. Shite. Oh, dear. Oh, no, I lost my spy master. Damn, he was really good. All right, let's get this guy a spy master. All right, you. Come on. We're going to go around there and try and siege Bear to Beerus. Let's make sure our commanders are right. And by right, I mean even slightly not terrible would be just stupendous, please. But apparently not. I guess I'll have to lead. I really don't want to lead. Oh my god. Wait, what? I I put the I put the designated region as my heir. What are you doing? The minister of magazines. Anything that gives him a monthly salary is great. Probably should have given the positions a bit earlier. So unfortunately, we cannot actually do anything useful or interesting. What is the ruler's martial skill? Still only eight, so that's good. As long as we get to Brezi, though, it's okay. It's because of all the mountains, though. That's the problem. Hey, the losing troops. Ooh, he's creating Arabia. Cool. Oh, wow, look how fast it is. So they've actually changed the speed in which this happens. It's much faster now. 80% morale, loses 11 every 12 days, base minus 50, times by fort level, because the fort levels are very low and also outnumbered. There's the castle. Cool. So this is actually going to be very easy to siege down, so this war should be a piece of cake. And we're getting piety at a super good rate. 
Unfortunately, our air is picked hunting for some god awful reason. Oh, I guess it's, I guess it's okay. Uh, he's getting a little bit of piety, just not very much. We're getting 2.43. Buildings, learning. Okay, cool. So obviously they're going to be able to get Diam, but they're not going to be able to fight us over here. So we can just take the, the CB and kind of peace out when we want. Because they're just going to have to sit there a little while. So 11% every, every 12 days, whereas they get 11% as well, because there's literally no fort level. It's pretty cool. And that's a revolt. Oh, yes. Yeah, so they start dealing with massive revolts, which is cool. Hopefully, he'll die relatively quickly. Independence has a crazy huge amount of people in it. The Sultan of Egypt is in Independence. Oh my god, if Egypt broke away, I would be so happy. Who is the leader of the faction right now? It's the Emir of Hejaz. The court- What? Dude, you're like the marshal. What a dick. Okay, great. He owns a huge amount of land. So independence is a possibility. But then I'd have to fight. The problem is if I go independent, right? I then have to fight every single time to expand. So I want to stay in the Abbasids to expand within it. For as long as possible. Okay. As long as he's busy, it's fine. But he really does need to die. I need to falsely confess faith before he revokes my titles. Uh, because he can at any point. He shouldn't because he's at war with three different people. He should be too busy. Four, four people. Jesus Christ, dude. What are you doing? What, what are you doing right now? Come on. Okay. Um, for some reason... Even though he hates me, because I'm an infidel and he's zealous, he's granted me the merit of Tiberistan. Holy shit. Oh, he's just created it. It's because I own it. That's fine. But that, that gives me massive, massive prestige bonuses, which is great. I gotta win this war. I also don't think he can at the moment because I'm at war. So that's great. Come on, baby. Here we go. All right. Oh, he's doing stuff. All right, so in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off this little conflict. We're going to manage to destroy, hopefully, and get Tiberius, which will expand our realm just a little bit, and we can consider trying to get 100... Well, not consider, but get to 100 piety and use that to falsely confess faith. Make sure you check out all the other series I have in my channel. Do also leave a like and a comment in the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far, because I'd love to hear your feedback. I was Aldrin, and I'll continue to be, and this has been some CK2 Bavanid Dynasty in J-Dragon. Bye-bye.